Hello and welcome. My name is Christian and I am a movement, nourishment, and mindfulness coach. I focus in on helping individuals be able to move freely, properly nourish their body, and keep their mindset positive and moving forward in the life that they want. Now, today I'm excited to take you through one of my favorite mobility flows. I call this mobility flow number one. It's gonna take care of the entire body, all the way from the feet, all the way up to the top of the head. Now, when we talk about mobility, we are specifically more so talking about our joints. Our joints hold the keys to our body's ability to move freely. Hence, the word mobility means freedom of movement. So we wanna be able to create more space to be able to allow our body to move freely pain-free, and be able to have all the fun in the world moving your body that you want to have. Now, as we get into this mobility flow, one thing to be mindful of is your breath, all right? The breath is one of the main components to be able to create that space within our joints and get that energy flowing throughout our body. So we want to sync the breath up to our movements and focus in on that mindfulness of them working together and creating that space and be able to create the energy that we all truly want. So to get started, I'm gonna have you come to the back of your mat. I'm gonna stay centered right here so you can see everything that I'm doing through this first part. And then as we go through, I'll transition to the back of that mat. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with just a few simple breaths. All right, just to get that breath under control and kind of know the pace that we want to be able to take this mobility flow with. So we're going to focus in on breathing in for four seconds, hold, and then exhaling for four seconds. We're going to do five breaths. You can get some movements like I'm going to do with the arms, or you can just stay nice and still. But here we go in three, two, and one. Big inhale in, four seconds, hold, exhale out four seconds big inhale in hold and exhale out big inhale in hold exhale out big inhale in hold and exhale out great job now we're going to get into the first part of our mobility flow with a big reach up as we breathe in and exhale as we lean back opening up the chest squeeze the glutes to support the lower back big inhale as we bring it back up and we're going to go into our obliques and an exhale as we reach out to the side we're going to do a total of 10 there's one big inhale at the top exhale as we reach out to the side again we want to inhale creating expanding with that oxygen and then as we exhale we're going to create space to lengthen out all right the surrounding areas that we're targeting and from here we're actually getting all the way from the ankle to the knee to the hips through the spine and into those shoulders and neck as we create that space laterally through those joints and allow the proper oxygen and blood flow to start stretching out those connecting muscles all right all the way through the calf into the it band into the hips into the obliques the lats some triceps and into some of the muscles in the neck and those muscles also surrounding the spine into your traps and all that kind of stuff so very good stuff with that now i'm going to move to the back of my mat we're going to get another slight lean back as we breathe in exhale as we come up and we're going to fold forward now breathing in as we fold forward here going as low as you can we're going to get some simple sways bringing those hands from one side to the other try to get one arm back behind the foot and the other one just in front of that foot we're going to go for 10 sways here breathing as we're getting this motion in so breathing in right here exhaling as we bring it back to center breathing in as we rotate exhale as we come back to center keeping our breath with our movements that's going to be the biggest thing to be able to again create that space and be able to lengthen out those surrounding muscles that connect to the joints that we're targeting and we're feeling last couple of sways here you're doing a great job now we're going to get into some forward folds all right with a rotation as we reach up eye on that hand breathing in as we come down exhale as we reach up 
breathing in as we come down, exhale as we reach up. Again, sinking that breath up to the movement, creating that space. Now we're getting this thoracic rotation, all right, working in through those hips, into the spine, into the shoulders, and into the neck. Again, completing a total of 10. Last couple reps right here. Focus in on feeling the space that we're creating. And beautiful, good job. And now we're gonna get into our spinal waves. We wanna lead with the crown of the head, rolling the shoulders back, squeezing the glutes as we push the hips forward. And now we wanna lead back with the crown of the head, tucking the chin, rolling down the spine. We want a big inhale as we lean it back and exhale as we roll it back down. Big inhale as we bring it back and exhale as we bring it back down. Focus in on feeling the space that we're creating throughout the spine, into the hips, in the neck, and throughout the whole body. Last one here. Excellent job. Nice exhale as we bring it down. Now, we're going to go ahead and walk it out into a plank position. We're gonna bring the hips down and go into an upward dog. Roll those shoulders back. Now you can either let the legs rest on the ground or you can keep them elevated, but we're gonna get into these rotations here. We're gonna get a total of 10 and we just wanna be able to get a nice gentle rotation focusing in on opening up the hips, both the outer part of the hips and those inner hips and just starting to create space within those hips. You're doing great. Now after this, we're gonna send it back into a downward dog and we're gonna get about 20 pedals. So that's about 10 on each side. And what I mean by pedals is we're just bringing those heels down and up. We wanna breathe with this. Now it's not necessarily gonna be synced up with each pedal or step that we pull through, but we just want a nice steady flow of breath as we pedal it out. Now we're gonna get one nice push back and then we're gonna bring one leg forward and we're gonna start diving deeper into the hips. Now from here, we just wanna allow the knee to sway out as we bring those hips down and forward. We're gonna get five of these right here. And here's four, one more, five, excellent. Now we're gonna bring the elbow closest to the leg, down as close to the ground as you can and rotate, reaching up and back. We wanna breathe in as we sink down and exhale as we reach back and rotate. Now we're gonna go for a total of five here. There's three, we've got two more, excellent. There's four, one more, and Five, nice job. Now we're gonna place the arm closest to the leg on the ground, we're gonna rotate up the opposite direction. Again, breathing in as we bring it down, exhaling as we're reaching up, and really try to get a nice rotation as you see my hand crossing in front of the leg, reaching past the foot to get that nice rotation. Again, total of five on this side, wrapping it up. Now we're gonna bring the leg back, back into a downward dog. We're gonna get 10 pedals into the legs here. And now we wanna feel, do we feel any extra space or more flexibility on the side that we were just working on? All right, take note of those things. Nice push back, bring that leg forward. We're gonna get five of those knees out as the hips come forward and down. All right, and again, focusing in on the breath as we bring it back, exhaling as we sink those hips down. Total of five, last couple right here sure we're feeling those hips opening up and good now we're gonna bring the elbow down to the ground we're gonna get those rotations all right breathing in as we bring it down and exhale as we reach up and back and again try to be able to get a little bit deeper on each of these movements don't force the body to get deeper focus just in on seeing if we're creating that space for the body to get deeper. At any point in time, if we need to bring that knee down, that's totally fine as well. Here we go, hitting the other side for five. All right, breathing in as we reach down and exhale as we open up that chest. Again, you can bring that knee down if you need to, but just focusing in on that breath and creating that space, getting a little deeper in each rep. Excellent job. And there we go. We're gonna bring that leg back. 
We're gonna pedal it back out, seeing if we created some space on that side. And we get about 10 pedals here. Again, just focusing in on that breath, seeing what we're feeling within the body here. Push it back. And now we're gonna go ahead and walk it into a forward fold. We wanna get a nice stretch here. Again, seeing if we've created some more space into the hamstrings, the calves, the hips, the back, the shoulders, everything. I like to get a couple rotations here just to work out any additional space we can try to find within those hips. And we're gonna slowly roll it back up each vertebrae at a time, slight lean back. Oh, there's the tree in the way. Move it forward, slight lean back here. And we're feeling good, excellent job. Now we're gonna show some love to the ankles by bringing one knee up and getting five rotations here. Focus in on creating a circle with that big toe as we get five one direction, and we'll bring it into that other direction, five this direction. Any snap, cracks, and pops is good. Get those out, and there we go. We'll switch legs, bring that knee up, draw in that big circle one direction for five. Excellent. And then we'll bring it back to the other way for five. Now, if you need to hold on to something, totally fine. Again, we're focusing more so on that joint of the ankle rather than the balance. Now, from here, we're going to get rotations. Notice as my foot pivots with the body, the foot is leading the rotation as that's where it begins. So focus in on that foot pivot and allow that chain reaction to go up the body as we get these rotations. We're going to get a total of 10. Almost through here. You're doing great. Keep up good posture. Focusing on building balance through those rotations. And now we're going to go ahead and add a reach. Reaching up and lengthening. Pulling it back down. Breathing in as we reach up and lengthen. Exhale as we bring it down. And again, breathing in and exhale. Notice how I'm still pivoting off the foot here. As we get these rotations, we're going to go through a total of 10. You're doing great. Focusing in on that breath, creating space as we reach up, bringing it back down. Last couple of reps right here. See if we're feeling any extra space being created as we work through this and we'll bring it back down. Nice work, big reach up. Now we're gonna bring the hands to the head and get some rotations here, total of 10, but notice the foot is not pivoting. We really wanna create that power now through the hips and carry that up through the posterior muscles. This is going to allow us to build that posture, but also open up the chest and open up those shoulder joints all the way into the neck and just get the energy flowing up through that upper body. Total of 10, we are now gonna get another big reach up and we're gonna roll those shoulders back, getting some arm circles here. Now notice how I'm doing a little bit of a light march. That is intentional. We wanna start generating the energy, again, through the feet all the way up into the body. So we're getting a total of 10 of these arm circles backwards. And once we get 10, we'll go ahead and bring those arm circles in the opposite direction and move them forward. Here we go, total of 10, moving forward. Again, keep the breath working through for you as we get this march. Again, just generating energy within the body as we breathe and as we lengthen and create space within the body. Last couple of reps here, doing great. Oh, hi kitty. All right, awesome job. Here we go, let's bring it back down. We're gonna get a little nice light jog and we just wanna shake everything out here. Shaking out those shoulders, shaking out the arms, shaking out the torso, shaking out the hips. Again, this is just getting any other stuck energy within the body out. This is also gonna help our lymphatic system as well as our blood flow increase and allow the body to begin to detox and uh, get out any negative energy and allow any positive that we wanna bring in. Now we're gonna focus on finishing up with four deep breaths. Four seconds in, hold four seconds out. Now I like to be able to focus in on some good intentions or some gratitude or visualize anything that I want positively to happen in my day and focus in on letting go of any negative thoughts about myself, about my situation, my environment or anything that I got going on in my life and setting the tone for the rest of my day. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this mobility flow number one. Follow for more or check out the next flow mobility and continue to keep your body moving and feeling at its best. We'll see you next time. Bye.